Ready on the move. Gonna take it. Put a little floater up on the run and bank it off the glass and in and good off the left side of the lane. For a minute now, ball knocked away, stolen by Tyson Carter. Driving it up the floor, puts the ball up on the glass and scores it again. Another nice play by Tyson Carter. That'll run it out. Final score 91 74. Tennessee with a resounding home victory in the Bulldogs. We'll go back home to play Missouri. Our guys really responded to the fact that we did not compete and, and play how we have to play in that second half of the Tennessee game. I th we had our best practice of the year on Monday. The guys really played hard and competed and blocked out and did the things that we needed to do to improve. And so that really helped us in preparation for the Missouri game. Q comes up the floor, whips it off to Peters at long range. He's going to take that three. It's on the way and it's in and good. Eli coming up the floor, throws it back to Weatherspoon. He starts to drive all the way to the hole. Nice hard drive to the hole. He lays it in and good. The coaches just told me to be aggressive and just try to get the team going. So I came out and just tried to be real aggressive in the first half, just trying to look for my teammates. And I, and I got a lot of open shots and, and they failed. So I was excited about that. But coaches and them just told me to come out and be aggressive. With the ball, IJ ready in the corner. Shot on the way. It's good again. Peters has gotten as hot as you can be three in a row. We just want to keep a level head, be humble, and stay hungry, and just go in and compete, and hopefully get this W on Saturday. Hi, Dak Prescott here. After losing my mom to colon cancer in 2013, it became personal to me. It is the second leading cancer killer. The good thing, though, it can be prevented, it can be treated, and it can be beaten. So if you're 50 or older, get screened. Do it for me and do it for yourself. Come see us at Gastroenterology Associates or Baptist Cancer Center. Locations in Columbus and Starkville. More people than ever are choosing Nissan, making us North America's fastest growing auto brand in 2016. Take on 2017 and get the safety you'd expect. And America's best truck warranty. Get to Nissan's Take On 2017 event and save up to 2500 on the 2016 Sentra or save up to 5000 on the 2016 Altima. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. physical team. Uh, they beat us on the boards in the first game. We expected a similar type of game plan from Alabama where they were going to try to be very physical and uh, play at us inside out and take advantage of their size. So Dante Hall takes the first shot of the ball game and misses a throw ahead to Weatherspoon. Driving layup on the glass, no good. Rebound taken out underneath and put up and in and good by Snyder Harrell. Tied at two, get it down inside and Arard again, a, a very patient head and shoulder fake and bucket that he finishes. Peters at long range, 12 on the shot clock, comes around the screen, takes it down the lane, all the way to the hole, laid it up and in. Weatherspoon cuts to the wing, can't go there, go up high to Herard, who throws it back outside. Stapleton drives, stops, fires from long range, and hits a two-point field goal, had a foot on the line, and that's a, a good bucket for Stapleton. That's how we uh, we just was spinning them, uh, got a couple stops, and uh, I think we made a couple shots. That's how that was, that was kept us in the game. We did a much better job in uh, the rematch in Tuscaloosa, where we actually won the battle of the boards. We did a... Uh, you know, good job competing. Uh, not having IJ in that game, which, you know, he hurt himself somehow in warm-ups. Uh, with about three minutes before the game started, uh, he felt something twinge in his, in his calf area, and then he tried to go and played maybe a minute, minute and a half, and just couldn't go, it tweaked. And that was a, a tough break for us because of his leadership and his ability to help us handle the basketball. 14 minutes to go in the first half. Peters gets a screen, comes around it, going to drive it all the way in, bounce it, and the shot put up and in by Holman. On the move, 
Inside, little floater. Datcher in and good off the feed by Peters. Here comes Peters down to the baseline. Can't get in. Try to bounce pass to Weatherspoon, who scores for the first time. He kept working on that baseline, and somehow Peters got it between the baseline and the defender to get him the base basketball. Peters drops it down to Holman. Right baseline. Wants to back it in against Oranian. Gives it off to Kegler, drives and reverse layup in and good. Nice job by Kegler down the baseline. Holman throws it out. Weatherspoon grabs it, drives it in, throws a floater up and in and good and ties up the basketball game at 29. On the outside, Ingram with a basketball. Starts to drive, takes it into the lane. Lost it. Bulldogs come away with it. Here comes Weatherspoon, and he's going to put it up at the buzzer, and it's short, no good. And we will go to the dressing room with Alabama leading it by a score of 34 to 29. from a five-point game at halftime. Alabama leading it. Now driving and getting the ball stripped away as Peters throws it out to Ingram. Ahead to Key. Poor pass, and he throws it outside, and the Bulldogs are going to steal it back. Peters got the ball to Weatherspoon, who knocked it free. He gets the return pass and lays it in. Wants to drive it in against Datcher. Goes in front, gets double teamed, throws it into the corner. Got it to Ingram. Ingram going to throw it back to Norris on the wing. He gets it knocked free, picked it up. He lost it. Bulldogs get it as the shot clock expired, but they already had the basketball ahead to Peters. Peters going to drive baseline, put a reverse layup up, no good. Stapleton grabbed it, stuck it in, and got fouled. We were all just uh, buying in to a close stand. Playing D, boxing out, and uh, we was uh, making shots and, and sharing the ball, playing good offense. Right now, Q Weatherspoon needs help, and Kegler comes out to help out. Kegler drives underneath the Holman. He slams it. Nice feed on the drive by Kegler, and Holman gets his second bucket. Kegler ranging to his right, gets it in the corner. Peters out of the corner, makes a three out of the corner, his first three of the ball game, and only the second for the Bulldogs. And a kick out to Peters. He jumps up and fires another three, no good. Offside, Snyder Harad puts it back up and in and makes the offensive bucket. Now Ingram down to Dante Hall on a baseline, five seconds. He's going to put a little shot up and blocked by Holman. Driving is Carter. Back out to Kegler. He jumps up and fires a three and in and good. A big three by Kegler because the Bulldogs really needed something. And they cut the lead to five. Eli Wright off to Weatherspoon, 10 on the shot clock, comes around the screen, back on the screen to White. White drives in the middle, goes to the hole, puts it up and in and good. Kegler looks for Peters on the wing, got a three look and fires and scores. Bulldogs get a three out of Peters, his second of the second half. He's had a nine point second half. Back out to Q Weatherspoon, goes up with a long three in and good. And the Bulldogs take a 58 to 57 lead in the basketball game. We had a lead with, uh, you know, less than six minutes to go in the game. I believe it was 59-58 when Q hit a three at the end of the shot clock. So we competed very well in that game, and, uh, you know, I was, I was happy about that. Here comes Peters all the way to the rim, and he lays it in. He finally got there. Kegler going to fire one out of the corner, and he's just going to have a miss, but it's laid in by Tyson Carter. So Carter gets a couple of points. Clock runs out. Final score. 71 to 62. Alabama with a victory, and they sweep the two games they play against Mississippi State here in the regular season. More people than ever are choosing Nissan, making us North America's fastest growing auto brand in 2016. Take on 2017 and get the safety you'd expect and America's best truck warranty. Get to Nissan's Take On 2017 event and save up to 2,500 on the 2016 Sentra or save up to 5,000 on the 2016 Altima. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs.
Loud Talk has a new home, and that home is the veranda. Join me, Ben Howland, every Wednesday night for dinner and Dog Talk Live. The veranda is home of the best steaks in Starkville and the best blue plates in Mississippi. Jay Yates is always cooking up something delicious. I'll see you at the veranda, where it's all about the flavor. and Mississippi State are obviously longtime rivals. That was like the 254th time that the, the two teams have met, which is the most by any SEC uh, you know, uh, rivalry uh, game uh, in the history of SEC basketball. Uh, so it's always going to be a game where you expect to get their very best, and, and uh, you know, we expect to do the same, bring our very best. To me, it means a lot, you know, I like mean, being from the state of Mississippi and me attending Mississippi State, uh, that game means a lot. I'm pretty sure it means a lot to all the Mississippi State fans and people that's affiliated with Mississippi State. But uh, we was expecting them to come out uh, with some fire behind them, being at this rivalry game and you know the tension that those uh, these two schools have. And uh, so we was expecting them to come out and again out toughen us and be more physical. Kegler looks cross court to Peters. He jumps up with a long three there. Good. Peters gives the Bulldogs a big outside bucket. He wants to run three against two. Going to take it all the way to the hole and lay it in off the glass and tie it up at nine. And there might have been some contact on that layup also, Jim. He got hit a little bit, but maybe not enough to call. Stapleton to uh, Weatherspoon. He's going to drive it all the way to the hole, lay it off the glass. and Good Good job by Weatherspoon to slice inside. Handle it to Peters, who's back in the ball game. He starts to move, bounce pass to Eli Wright, out to Kegler, a three on the way, and he bombs one from deep. And Mississippi State gets three back just like that. Out of the double team, gets it to Peters in the corner to Q Weatherspoon. His shot on the way, and he hits a three down the lane. Pitches it back outside. Peters inside, and Holman goes up and slams it. Does a great job. He was in stops. And, uh, we got, got them to get a couple stops, and we went down on office end, and we uh, they secured it and got us a couple uh, couple scores. And when we get stopped, when we was getting stopped with them, we was running the game with them. But once uh, we lit up on defense and took a couple bad shots on our offense, then uh, that's when the game changed and they went on those runs. At the top of the key, starts to drive off to Kegler. He's got a fairly open look. He hits a three from deep. And the Bulldogs do within a one at 29-28. We were at 29-28 uh, with seven minutes to go in the first half and had the ball and got an offensive foul. Uh, and then it went from there to 31 and 35-30. Uh, and we got killed in one of the transition defense in the last five minutes of that game. It went from a five-point game to an 18-point game in less than five minutes and primarily because of uh, turnovers and transition D where we weren't matched up, we weren't finding anybody. and. Uh, they're knocking down threes. Inside, and they're going to put it up, and Holman got it up over the rim, and it gently nestled in. Harard sets the screen. Here comes Peters all the way to the hole, lays it up off the glass and in. Now he starts to move on the right side. Now he gets three, drives it in there, shoots it back out to right to Weatherspoon. Weatherspoon comes down the lane, and a reverse layup nicely off the glass and in for Weatherspoon. Down inside, Snyder Harad spins and slams it. Just waiting. Burnett with the ball in his hand. He's going to start driving it right all the way down to the baseline. Brings it in. Puts one up and out. No good. Try to tap it. No good. Rebound Holman. And that's going to run out the half. So we're at halftime. Ole Miss 51, Mississippi State 33. He was telling us to be patient on offense and uh, let the game come to you. And I'll try to force it. Just, uh, get the offense moving and things open up for us. Peters drives right down the lane. Little reverse layup in and good. He's got that left hand. He switched to him there right to left hand and laid it up over the rim. On the wing, Peters. He's driving it in there again. Takes it all the way to the hole and lays it in. And he's just putting his head down and finding room. Kegler on the drive all the way down to the baseline. Spins. 
out to Staple, and he's going to take it in there with a reverse layup that's in and good. Bulldogs look at that 1-3-1 trap. Weatherspoon exchanging with Kegler down to the corner to Holman. He's going to fire a three out of the corner. Good. Wright gives it back to Weatherspoon. Bulldogs against the zone. Get it to Peters. He drives, tries to put it up. It's tough for us uh, to lose Lamar because um, uh, he, he got a hip pointer where he actually got need in his, his hip area uh, and uh, tried to come back in and play with it and just couldn't. There was too much pain there and threw uh, you know, Tyson into the point guard uh, position, uh, which he hasn't played a lot of minutes at this year. And, uh, you know, it's capable offensively in particular of doing it. Kegler out to Weatherspoon. He's on the dribble drive in the middle, down the lane, puts it up. It is a goal 10 as Fomanovich knocks it off the glass. Bounce it high post to Kegler, down low to Holman. Nice job of the head and shoulders fake, and he lays it off the glass for two. And there's a ball, bounce pass inside, and stolen away by Eli Wright. Off to Weatherspoon, throws it ahead to Stapleton underneath, put it up and in, and drew the foul of the process. Well, it's all over. 88 to 61, Ole Miss with a 27 point win. So the Bulldogs will regroup and get ready to play a very physical Tennessee ball club. Tennessee is the most physical team we've played on our schedule this year. They're really on a roll right now. They've won their last four games, starting with uh, their win against uh, us in Knoxville two weeks ago, Saturday. Uh, so uh, we know they're going to get their very best. They're, they're on the cusp of an NCAA tournament bid, so they're playing uh, with a lot on the line. They're playing extremely hard and very physical, so we've got to uh, you know, bounce back. And uh, you know, the one thing about changing from a Tuesday night to a Wednesday night from the Missouri game changed our, our whole schedule because of you, the requirement of taking a day off every week. And so we took Sunday off after the Tennessee game when we played in Knoxville, and we had nine straight days without a day off, which is very difficult for a young team. So, uh, you know, getting a day off finally, I think, was a good thing. Uh, obviously, you know, IJ is still uh, smarting from the, uh, the injury he sustained in warm-ups in Tuscaloosa. And uh, same thing with Lamar with his hip pointer. So, you know, those are going to be things that, uh, you know, we're trying to overcome here. Uh, while well, we still prepare for a very good Tennessee team.